like to be a man. Men need to surround themselves with other men who will challenge them, hold them accountable, push them and pressure them to grow. A group where they can be vulnerable and dump their shit on them. Dump your shit stressed and, and, shit and complain to your group of men. Do it there so you don't do it here, meaning at home with your family and your kids. You need... importance of brotherhood and having role models. Men need other men. To counteract all these trends here in this next segment of brotherhood and role models, this is what we're talking about other people. People are a huge piece of the puzzle. Other men, we need to be around other men. To counteract these, these trends and this bullshit, men need strong mo role models and a supportive brotherhood of like-minded freak men just like themselves. John Wayne, John Wayne said, you have, to, you have to be a man before you could be a gentleman. We have to be around other men. We have to see what it's like to be a man. Men need to surround themselves with other men who will challenge them, hold them accountable, push them and pressure them to grow. A group where they can be vulnerable and dump their shit on them. Dump your shit and stress and, and bitch and complain to your group of men. Do it there so you don't do it here, meaning at home with your family and your kids. You need that place to go let it go. But then also that group of men is going to be there to hold you accountable if you continue to bitch and moan and complain about the state of where you're in or whatever you're bitching about and don't do anything about it. That group of men will then and should call you out on it. And you should have a group of, of men and, and positive male role models and peers that you trust and respect that you can go to and have these tough, meaningful conversations. And whether you're a father or not, you could play a role, a pivotal role in mentoring other men and mentoring people around you, mentoring your community, being part of a men's group or finding a, a mentor that can provide you the, the guidance and accountability to have you, help you navigate through this fucked up world with, with life's challenges and reclaim your purpose, this is, is what's needed. This is how we start counteracting all this bullshit we talked about in these other segments. You need to be around other men. You need a group of men. You need to have other men to challenge you. You need to be competitive even with other men. Shit, there's nothing wrong with best friends punching each other in the face doing some sparring, you, you go to the, a, a gym, you do some, some grappling, some jujitsu and, and fucking slam and choke the shit out of each other. Men need that rough housing with other men. Yet young boys need it, but it doesn't, we don't stop needing it when we get older. Sometimes we gotta be smarter about it because we're all fucked up and have all kinds of injuries. We need to maybe, maybe be a little smarter about it, but we need to still have that rough housing, have that testosterone increasing activities. Like that's what we are built for. We need to stay sharp, stay on the edge. You need to be around other men. You need to have a brotherhood of other men that are going to help keep you sharp. That's what we do in the Freak Father Alliance men's mentorship group coaching program. That's what it's all about. Having that community of other like-minded men that you can always turn to 24 hours a day because maybe in your real world, you're surrounded by a bunch of stooges. So you need to connect with those other men. That's why we do live events here in Southern California for men. Many events like the project, like the Squire program for father and sons, like the no excuses experience that I run for men here in Southern California. They need, men need these challenges. They need a brotherhood. They need accountability. They need competition. They need someone to call them out on their bullshit from men you can respect and trust and count on and that are dependable, that are also leaders. And men that you can also bring value to also. You should also be bringing value to the table. You should be holding and carrying your own weight in your group of men, not just relying on these other men to only provide for you, to only help you because, yeah, you should ask for help. You also should be askable for help to other men because there's going to be things that you could help these other men in the group with in certain situations, certain circumstances that you need to help them with. And this is all part of that, just very straightforward segment on 
the importance of a brotherhood and having role models and finding the right role models that are where you want to be, that are aligned with your mission, your vision, your values, your goals, the lifestyle and the legacy that you want to live. Find those right types of role models, those right type of people, those right type of peers and other men and brotherhood to be around. And listen, if you don't have it, fucking start it. Be the one. Go start it in your own neighborhood. Go start finding people online and connect and create your own group. That's the way you need to think about it. And that leads us into this next segment on reclaiming masculinity. And then it's going to tie into the next segment after that, which is how to be a leader, a husband, a father, and just a man in today's world, the way of the freak father. And we're going to dive deep, deep into that. So reclaiming masculinity doesn't mean rejecting Mo- the mod- uh, modern way of life or it definitely doesn't mean rejecting the old way of the roles of, of man. It just means integrating the best traditional virtues and values and understanding of man. It means embracing self-discipline and self-care and resilience and avoid the fucking trap of seeking validation through instant gratification and focus on building real meaningful connections and relationships. The way that we reclaim masculinity is, well, first, remember, being a man involves more than just fulfilling roles. It's about self-mastery. That's how we reclaim this. Start with yourself. Master yourself every day, getting better. Ask yourself, did I get better and improve today? The end of every day, you should ask yourself that and talk about how and why. And if not, why not? What the fuck are you waiting for? personal growth and contributing to the freaking world and community and your people and your family around you, contributing positively to the world around you. That, that quote from earlier, stand true to your calling as a man that I said, real women will always be relieved and grateful when men are willing to be men. That is how we reclaim our the masculinity. Men willing to be men again. You must stop feeding your brain the bullshit and the junk that social media presents to you freaking constantly. Stop just because you liked uh, someone that plays basketball doesn't mean you're going to let them lead your fucking family and raise your kids. Your kids shouldn't even consider some actor or rapper or musician for their advice or way of living or as a role model. Just because they like a fucking song or a movie that person's in that have complete opposite ideals and values of you and your family, you're gonna really, you cannot let that shit replace your fatherhood. You have to stop and ask yourself, what the fuck are you doing? Is, are you being the leader, the husband, the father, the man that you want to be? Are you leading the right way? Or are you just consuming dumb fucking content and eating a bunch of shit that you know is poison for your body, laying on the freaking couch all day, playing video games and watching Netflix for hours when you didn't earn that shit? And just scrolling the internet, looking at random things and and pages and sites and women and all this other dumb shit instead of taking care and getting your fucking house in order. It's time for like a man to be man. I'm going to give a a brilliant quote from Breaking Bad. Gustavo Fring. Yeah, we got a Breaking Bad one, Tyson. He said, and a man, a man provides and he does it even when he's not appreciated or respected, or even loved. He simply bears up and does it because he's a man. Now, I don't even remember what scene that's from. I have to find out what scene. When did he actually say that? I don't even remember the, the circumstances, but it's a, a because he's a man. That's why he does it. It doesn't matter if he's appreciated. And if there's, he does the work of man because that's what a man does. And as a man, you must know, must know you are meant to, to build and create and lead and protect and provide. Again, John Wayne, you have to be a man before you could be a gentleman. Like this is what it's all about. So I'm going to encourage you to think about, all right, reclaiming masculinity before we kind of shift gears into, all right, even how do we do that more? How do we become this freak father leader in the modern world, which is going to be the next segment. That's a whole long several part segment also, or several segment part, is I want to encourage you to reflect on your own way of life, your own life, and 
the ways that you are contributing to settling for mediocrity as a man. I want you to take ownership for your freaking growth. Seek out meaningful relationships and work towards becoming this purpose-driven man with intentionality and value and virtue. All these things we've been talking about. All these downfalls and, and hardships we're talking about. I'm going to challenge you to dive deep to them and call yourself out on them. And stop letting them run the fucking show. It's time for you to run the show. Time for you to get your fucking house in order. So I am challenging you to dive deep into this, rewatch stuff. We went over so much in these last few segments. And we're going to dive deep, even deeper into the, the, in the next episode on being a freak father, the way of the freak father. And we've had a lot on fatherhood before. This is all about fatherhood and manhood as a leader in today's modern world. How do you do it? What are the expectations? What are the standards and expectations of a man? And that is coming up on previous segments and episode. So stay tuned for that. Dive deep into these, these last few segments. Do the fucking work, the work of man, the work of the freak father. And if you need some help with this, reach out about getting involved in the Freak Father Alliance. That's a men's mentorship group coaching program where we will help you create a lifestyle that you don't need a, a life you don't need a vacation from and a legacy that you don't have to wait a lifetime to start living. It's where I help entrepreneurs and men get more focused, consistent, and disciplined so they can make more money, have more meaning, and have more time, freedom for their families. That's what the Freak Follower Alliance is all about. It's all about learning how to, how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own terms all while you create this personal, ideal, freak of freedom lifestyle. It's where we transform men from where they are to where they want to be, need to be, and where their family and kids fucking deserve for them to be as you learn to weaponize everything, the failures, the tragedies, the victories, the obstacles, how to weaponize your weakness. Flip the switch in how you think and operate in your mindset, family, fitness, and business. Men, we have some work to do, so let's get to fucking work. No excuses.